Hey, what's going on, Yazdi Legend here? Today we are going to be fighting the Upright Defender in this event called Defeat Upright Defender. And you actually get some magic gems through this, 30 in total if you beat all 10 quests. I already did the first 9 of them, so let's go ahead and do the last one here. My setup is mostly Upright Metals, um, and so hopefully this works out, but we'll try this out. Uh, we have Tifa, no extra attack on her. We do have Nominee here with extra attack. We've got Tifa again, again no extra attack. We do have Kiarit Bonds here with extra and ground, but it's just there for second chance and just to copy Tifa, really. And then we have Terranort here to deal some damage. Also increases our reverse strength. We've got Rage Form Sora here. Perfect traits, amazing metal. And that's going to go ahead and copy Danny's uh, Supernova Plus Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Dark Riku. So shout out to you, Danny. Honestly, the best metal in the game right now, in my opinion. Um, that 25.27 multiplier is when it, ha it hits the critical attack, which is pretty common to be honest with you, because it's 50% chance that it hits the critical. It's base multiplier, the 20.22, is already top 5 metals in, like, top 5 multipliers in the game for any metal. So that's amazing as well. Um, and it just packs a punch, it does PvE damage, uh, so it does that uh, strength, or speed metal strength plus 3000 for 2 turns, so that's amazing for PvE. It's also amazing for PvP because it does pierce defense boost and obviously just good for general content because it has that insane multiplier and has an amazing effect uh, as well as an amazing supernova. So let's go ahead and try to run this and um, see what happens. We, we'll probably need all three turns for this. Alright, so turn one. We're going to go ahead and just pop off everything to start with. It doesn't matter right now because these metals are just doing upright damage and he actually absorbs upright uh, damage so he'll actually heal if you use upright metals at the wrong time so for this turn we're gonna go ahead and pop off those three supernovas because we don't want them to do to uh, actually heal him the next turn from here on out we'll start attacking so that that right there the six that did you see those um the big numbers there that means it's a critical so let's see if this one that's also a critical attack because of the big numbers that's a critical and let's see this one that's just a regular attack so that's the 20.22 times multiplier there all right so we do have quite a bit of buffs already let's go ahead and skip tifa obviously we'll use nominee because it is not on a multiplier slot so it's an on not it's on an off slot We'll skip Tifa here as well. We'll use Carrot Bonds though. Because it's not going to deal enough damage to matter. Go ahead and pop Nominate just to give us that extra strength buff. Here we can start using our Terranort. And our Dark Riku to give ourselves max buffs basically for right now. So we do need that critical to proc a few times. Because we are not going to be able to do this without it. And we'll probably need all three turns but... Well, definitely need all three turns, my bad. But, uh, very doable, guys. Even with just a bunch of upright metals. So from here on out, we'll just... Oh, I definitely should not have used Tifa there, but whatever. Not a big deal. We got this done in three turns, and that's fine, because that's all we need. Uh, so if you guys don't have Dark Riku of your own, check for a friend copy. It's very doable as long as you have the right metals. Um, that obviously goes without saying, but you don't necessarily need Dark Riku. You don't necessarily need Terranorts. You don't necessarily need any metals that deal crazy damage here. Obviously, it's nice to have a speed setup that does this because it is a magic uh, enemy. But even if you ran like a Dark Gnaw with your, not like this, but like with a uh, with a new Sephiroth, Final Fantasy VII record or er, remake Sephiroth or Dissidious Sephiroth or any metal like that and you build up enough strength you can do this for sure as long as you have reverse damage at some point in time you can definitely use your upright metals to buff yourself up as I did here so make sure you guys are trying that out um, nominee or metal and then metals on off slots is really important as well so nominee doesn't deal any damage there but it does buff every single turn for me because uh, she's on an off slot and doesn't do any damage, so it's not a big deal if she is cast every turn. Um, yeah, play around with it, you guys. Good luck with this. Let me know in the comments below if you need any help with this. 
And um, yeah, good luck with it and get those magic gems so you guys can upgrade your Keyblades. Right now I have three or four Keyblades that are level 50. So you have my Sleeping Lion, Counterpoint, Fenrir, and my Bad Guy Breaker. So obviously I'm hoping to upgrade everything else because of the passive effects as I talked about in my other video. Um, I'll probably leave a link to that video in the description below as well, but it's a really informative video that just talks about uh, different reasons why you should be leveling up and how and why it's important to level up your keyblades etc so make sure you guys check that out for more tips on kingdom hearts union cross if you're a newer player and even if you're an older player it might be of benefit to you as well um i will be making more tips and tricks for you guys in the near future for videos so make sure you guys are checking that out and yeah just subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you anything it's literally just a click of the button uh, you click a button, you get subscribed, you get to watch all my videos. I know there's a lot of you that don't actually, that aren't actually subscribed to the channel that watch my videos. So make sure you guys ch um, check out the rest of my channel and subscribe to the channel for more King of Hearts Union Cross content. That's the end of my ramble, guys. Catch you all soon. Peace out.